Hi, happy Thursday. We got Friday around the corner and I'm excited and I wanted to jump on. I haven't done a live for a little while, so I wanted to come on and say hi and show you guys a fun Valentine's look because Valentine's is like in a week. Guys, if you need, you know, help getting your lady something, let me know. I can hook you up, give you ideas. Um, lots of fun ideas out there. So I'm going to go ahead and start in with my... Hey, oh, I got some people jumping on. Hey, Nikki, Nikki, Queen, Queen Cat. <laughs> I'm getting everyone shout out out there. So, um, hey, deal. Oh, so, all right. So I am going to first start with my foundation. I already put on my face primer. So first thing first, you guys, whenever you put on any type of face primer, hey, Chelsea. Put on face primer. This is going to help fill in the fine lines and help keep your foundation in place. It won't melt off. So I already put this on and I let it sit for about five. I let it sit five minutes. You can let it sit ten. It's just depending how much time you have. So I am going to use my liquid foundation today. Grab that here. Grab my kabuki brush. You guys, my Kabuki brush, I love this brush. If you don't have it in your life, I would recommend it. It is the best brush. It's, the bristles are really soft and they're just amazing. All right. So if you're on, say hi to me so I'm not talking to myself here. <laughs> I just got home from work and I didn't wear makeup today to work. So I come home and put on the makeup. <laughs> I'm doing it kind of backwards, but that's okay. So I'm going to be putting some concealer. I like to use Scarlet. Scarlet. Scarlet is a shade lighter from my foundation. So I'm just putting a little bit on. So if you got Valentine's coming up and you got a hot date for it, or if you don't, that's okay. But if you got a hot date coming with it, then this is a fun, fun look. So I'm shaking up my liquid foundation. So I'm using eyelet with my foundation. Ugh, since I dropped my stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to throw some on. So I got my tube and I'm just going to throw on some drops. I love our liquid foundation. It turns into powder. It goes on liquid and then turns powder when it dries. So it's really nice. Okay, so I got that on, bam, so I just, and I got my concealer on there, so I'm killing two birds with one stone with this step. So our special this month with our kudos is our liquid eyeshadow. You get your choice of blush, or you could choose the lip, our exfoliator lip, and... You get two liquid eyeshadow, and, and of course, I'm going to show you guys that today with my look. So, it will be fun. So, I am just applying my foundation. Getting it on. Hope everyone's day is going good. I know some of you are probably getting home. Okay. Make sure this is good to blend it in. Okay, got my, yes, and if you can, give me some likes, some love hearts, that would be greatly appreciated. Feel free to share my video, I appreciate it. Hey, Jenny Ray. All right. So I'm just getting my makeup good and blending in. I think I look okay. All right. So I got that done. And what I like to do after I, if you've watched my videos in the past, I always like to use my bronzer. This is great for contouring. When you use it, it's supposed to help make your face thinner, but uh, I just like it. So I just take my kabuki brush and, hey, 
Ashley, hey Jenny, Laura, if I missed some of you, I'm sorry. How's it going? Okay, I'm just doing a little contouring. I'm glad the live is working because sometimes the um, responses are delayed, so I'm glad it's working today. So, okay. Got that going on. So that's my bronzer. Put that to the side. And then I'm going to use my blush here. I'm going to use Sweet. Show you guys the color. It's kind of like a light pink color here. It's really subtle. We have different colors of blush. So if you need help color matching, let me know. Be glad to help. So I'll just put all some blush on. So my husband's not home from work. He's going to be like, you're going to get all dolled up. And I'm like, yep. Got to look good for my husband, right? <laughs> okay. So I got my makeup on. All right. What I tip, what I like to do, you don't have to do this. This is what I do. Because it helps me, um, I'm just, I like to use tape. There are other types of tapes out there, so you got to be careful when you're um, putting this on. So I just kind of corner it. This helps give me an even line. Let's make sure. God, I, that's not enough tape. <laughs> I'm almost running out, so I'm like, ooh. So I'm going to be using this. Hey, Ashley. Ashley Allen. I had Ashley Williams. Now I have Ashley Allen. Woohoo! I got the Ashleys here. So I'm going to just tape that here. And so when I hey Bonnie! And you guys, what I'd like to do with my tape, I will just put it on my pants so it won't be as sticky. And that way it's not as harsh tearing off. But they do have like different tapes out there. They have tape for like makeup. I'm just, I don't want to go out there and buy it. So I just get the <laughs> scotch tape. So just be really careful if you try this method. And don't hurt yourself. Alright, I'm looking for my eye primer. Eye primer is really important. This helps um, your eyeshadow stay on longer. So, we'll put some on. I just put a dab on my finger. You can do a brush, but I am just going to make it easy and do my finger today. I just use like my, my bird finger. So, <laughs> the bird finger, that's what I call it, yes. So, how are you doing, Bonnie? Okay, I'm... Definitely going to try those eyeshadows that you recommended. I don't have them, but I'm going to order them next. So I got my eye primer on. And did you guys know? So when I was putting on my foundation, to have your lip color stay on longer, put the concealer or foundation over your lips. Because this will help your foundation, well, your lip, like your lippy stay on longer so just a little tidbit i know i'm getting sidetracked <laughs> okay so what i'm going to use today and i'm going to show you guys how to use the my beloved palette oh ah! and i'm going to of course incorporate it with our liquid eyeshadow so i'm going to be using that today hey lacy joe so we'll have some fun with that woo woo okay so I'm going to use my crease blush here. Taking my, you guys, these are such lifesavers. I ordered this. It's a color cleaner. So you can get these on Amazon and it'll clean your brushes. So I love mine. I use it all the time. Whenever I put on eyeshadow, it comes in so handy. It's like, wow. Okay. So the My Beloved palette makes a perfect Valentine look. So, and I, like I said, I'm going to incorporate my uh, liquid eyeshadow. I think today I'm going to um, use Agnostic. It's a bright pink color, so it's fun. 
So we'll have fun with the colors. It will be amazing. And first, uh, gotta grab my other eye brushes. And my dog is coming in. She's so sweet. Well, hi. She was yawning and wants to say hi. <laughs> I can't play with you. Okay. Got my blending brush. And I know I should have had my brushes out and I'm there's one more. I don't know where it's at. Okay. Well, we'll improvise. I wanted my other sponge angle brush, but I don't know where it's at. <laughs> So I'm going to improvise and that will be okay. Let me quickly clean this off. And we'll get to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry guys, bear with me. Okay, so you can use water or what, like I have setting spray here and what I typically would like to do, I don't know if I want to use that. That's kind of too big. Guys, bear with me. Oh, there it is. Mommy. I love this brush. This brush is amazing and I found it. Okay, this is my angle brush. Or is that what it's called? Yeah. This brush is so good for eyeshadow. So I like to take my setting spray. My dog, she's so funny. And I'm going to spray a little bit on the sponge. And it's clean. And I'm going to be taking... I think I'm gonna take wood. It's this pink shimmery color right here, and I'm gonna use it on my eyelid. Yes, Licorice, we can hear you. She says hi. So I'm gonna take it on my eyelid. And I'm just gonna pat it on. And it's a really pretty pink shimmery color. Perfect for Valentine's. So. So I'm just coloring over my eye here. And I'm going to get a little bit more setting spray. Because this setting spray or water will just kind of help make it the color, I guess, more potent. I, I see a difference when I use it. Okay, so if you're going out and you want to dress up, pinks are a lot of fun colors. So I'm just looking up my makeup here, you guys. And so this is the my, my Beloved palette. So I am just patting on the color. See, there we go. Okay, so next, let's do the other eye so I can keep it consistent. Putting some more setting spray on. Hey, care. So I'm pat this. I'm just patting it. And you can just, so patting it helps, will help the color stay on more. Okay. So I'm just patting it on. See, it's like bright pink. I love pinks. Pinks are my fun colors. So, isn't it? I agree, Ashley. It is a really a pretty color. And my tape here will help give me a crisp line when I blend my colors. Now, if you want to be fancy, you can highlight the corner of your eye. Um, I could take, oh, for the fun of it, I'm going to take Air Replaceable. It's kind of a maroonish color. Uh, I don't like that. No, I should have stuck with the pink. 
Yeah, we won't highlight the, the corners. Sometimes I highlight the corners and sometimes I don't. And then I'm going <laughs> to not do it. <laughs> it's going to make, it's typically you want to do a lighter color. Okay. I'm going to take Gnostic and you can get this in the kudos this month. You guys, I'm going to show you a squat. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And you can use it as lipstick too. So you can do, you know, a lot of different things. I'm just going to throw some on the corner of my eye. Let's hope this turns out. I haven't really played with it, but I've seen others do it before, so <laughs> let's hope I don't flop. <laughs> don't flop it. And then I just take my blending brush. And these dry really quickly. The liquid eyeshadows don't crease. And they dry really quick dry really quickly. So I am just taking it in the middle, middle of the corner. And just kind of blending it in here. And so the tape is going to help give it an even line in the end here. So, which will be nice. Oh, that's pretty. And then. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, take your replaceable and use it in my crease. So I'm going to take my crease blush. Where did it go? It's right here. And I'm going to take my, so this is irreplaceable. It's a little bit ruinish, darkish color. Dark purple. And let's put a little bit more. In the corner, in the corner, in my inner eye. <laughs> hey, Paula. So you could do circles or you could go back and forth. I'm kind of doing both. And it just takes practice. So I'm kind of doing the pink Valentine look here. Okay. Next. Um, where is my, you guys, this is such a pretty color. It's reverent. Everybody loves reverent. It's neutral, simple. I'll squat. I'll throw a little bit on my hand. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to just throw a little bit on my brow here. And you can use it as a highlighter too. I'll do it in a minute. I want to get this blended in. So I'm going to just take my, my bird finger and rub it. I'm just patting it with my finger. See, it's something simple. Okay. Not too bad. Okay, so you could actually use this as a highlighter on your cheek. Now I'll do that real quick. Take off my tape here in a minute. And I'll show you guys the corners. Where is my... Give you a little shine. So the liquid eyeshadow can be used for multiple things. It can be used for your eyes. It can be used as highlighter and it can be used for your lips. So I am taking off my tape. See, it kind of gives me that clean, crisp, um, crisp line. Because I don't do the best line, so the tape really does help when I do that. And it it's just really nice. So, and... I want to show you guys, I got, I'm going to use the powder lip stick here. It's casual. It's really a pretty pink color. And I want to put on some lip liner. And I don't know where it's at. Mm. <laughs> we'll just wing it. 
So it's powder and then it's it's like it's liquid powder. It's really cool to put on. And it's, this is casual. Mm hmm casual. Okay, so I got this on, and I want to show you guys, I got the brow palette. We'll put that some my, darken up my brows here, if I can find it. You guys, I got, like, things scattered all over, and it's like, where is it? <laughs> okay, you guys, I got the brow palette. It's amazing. So, uh, we do have the pencil. But it's fun to use a brow. So I use my brow brush. And what I like to do is I'll comb it. Comb. And then I'm going to start with one. I typically like to use one. Well, they're numbered. That's one, that's two, that's three, or five. So I typically will use one, two, and five. So what I do is I just put some on my brush here. And everybody has their different methods of doing brow. This is how I do mine. And it's worked for me. Like comb it. And... <laughs> we'll go do that. Isn't that lippy fun? Actually, it's so fun. I love it. It's, I need to get another color. The powder lipstick is amazing. So. And then I just take my comb. And then. You can go fancy if you want to, but I'm just like, mm, don't really, I'm already fancy in love with my liquid eyeshadow on. So, I'll try not to go too dark. <laughs> so I'm using step two to just kind of give it, make it a little bit darker. All right, I got my brow to wax last week, so it's fun. Okay, now we're gonna do the mascara. Mascara is so important. Need a mascara. Oh, before I do my mascara, let me show you guys a fun little trick. I need to put on some setting powder. I like to use my um, set. This is actually press powder. So if you're like, let's say you're out, uh, you know, setting powder. Just use your pressed powder and it just works just as good. My door might go off because I have an Amazon package coming. So if it comes out, we hear it, ignore it. So you can put it under your eyes to kind of highlight it. Brighten it up. Can I need... So that is a little fun trick that I learned. It's really cool. Okay. All right, I am going to, I like to keep my mascara close to my heart. And I thought I put in my mascara, but I didn't. I just put in my <laughs> primer. <laughs> oh well. So when you keep it close to your heart, it will help um, make it, the gel warm and it just makes it easier to apply your mascara. So I am going to use eye primer. This helps volumize. And this is also like a lash primer. So if you need help with your lashes growing, this stuff is amazing. So I'm almost out. <laughs> I'm going to use my 4D mascara. If you guys do not have this mascara in your life, I would recommend getting it. It's amazing. It gives you the 
fabulous lashes. So I like to, to wiggle, blink. So you can use, even if you have falsies, you can use this, the mascara for it. Oh, I'm looking at my makeup mirror. <laughs> okay, and then what I'd also like to do to make it a little bit more fun, I'll grab my Epic Mascara and throw it on the tip. So... Voila! Try not to get the mascara on my make eyeshadow because we don't want to ruin that. <laughs> and let's do the other eye. Minimal. <laughs> there we go. So this is the Lash Primer. It's amazing. Okay. And then I'm gonna grab the 4D. So I like to blink and I'm turning my mascara. It just really volumizes my lashes. So this, what I put on, you guys, this makes great Valentine's gifts for your ladies. So if you need help picking out colors, let me know. And ladies, don't be shy. You can get yourself Valentine's gift too. You don't need a man to get your Valentine's gift. Get yourself. I, when I was single, I would do it all the time. Okay, I'm gonna top it off with an epic. And let's do one more coat over here. Voila. That is my fun. Valentine's Glamour look. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions on any of the products I used today, let me know and I'll be glad to help. Have a good day. Bye.